Hi, I'm Mystic Rose and welcome to my channel. Today's pick a card is going to be who is crying over you and why. It's going to be very in-depth and there's going to be three different piles for you to choose from. You can choose using gemstones or images. The choice is yours. You may also be drawn to more than one pile and if you are, feel free to Watch however many piles that you are drawn to because there may be multiple messages for you where within. So I hope that you enjoy today's reading and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're new to my channel. I would love to have you be part of my YouTube family and for all of you current subscribers, thanks so much for all of your love and support. And thank you for booking those personal readings with me. I truly appreciate those. And I'm having so much fun doing those. All right, let's go ahead and get started on today's pick a card all about who is crying over you and why. Hello and welcome to your pile selection with gemstones. For pile one, we have this purple amethyst point. So if you're drawn to the purple amethyst point, you'll choose pile number one. For pile two, we have this rose quartz point. So if you are drawn to this rose quartz point, you'll choose pile number two. And for pile three, we have this fluorite point. So if you are drawn to this fluorite point, you'll choose pile number three. If you need to pause the video at this time, feel it. Feel free to do so, but if you're ready, let's go ahead and get started with today's pick a card all about who is crying over you and why. Hello, my beautiful and lovely pile number one collective. If you chose the purple amethyst point or image one, you're in the right place for today's pick a card reading all about who is crying over you and why. So we're going to get super in depth. I'm going to be using the letter tiles in combination with the tarot, oracle, channeled message and spirit talk. So I'm combining all the modalities today along with the astro dice so that you'll get a full understanding of who this person is. There could even be more than one person spirit just told me who could be crying over you. So let's keep that in mind too, as we go forward. And I'm going to start us off with a prayer to spirit. Okay. So spirit, please be here now with me. Help me to deliver clear, concise, and accurate messages to my pile. Number one, all about who is crying over them and why? Spirit, please speak through me. Thank you, Spirit. All right, so I will cleanse the space. I like to cleanse the space before I begin because I do a lot of tarot readings. And so it's important to cleanse the space. It's like starting anew with a clean slate. Okay. I'm also going to be using the Carolyn Mace archetype cards. So this should be a lot of fun. I'm going to try to as best as I can, I'm going to try to shuffle on camera so you can see what I'm doing. So who is this person that is really crying over my pile number one? Samaritan. Okay. So I, I like to shuffle first and I like to lay down the cards and then I like to talk about what they mean. So I'm just going to shuffle and then lay down the cards. 
I have full lives. Alone in the world. Interesting. I'm also going to be using the Coffee Cup Oracle by Amira Ceylon. This was a gift to me from Amira, the creator of this deck, and it's such a cool deck. Such a cool deck. I like the imagery. Ooh. Interesting. <laughs> we got the witch. All right. I'm not very surprised that that came out. Now I think I will use the Light Sears Tarot. Spirit, tell me more, please, about this person who's crying over my pile number one. Who is this person crying over my pile number one? Get the Ten of Cups, Three of Wands, the Knight of Wands in reverse, Four of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, and the Nine of Cups. Okay. And then We've got these cards that tell us a little bit more about why this person is missing you. Thank you for being patient as I shuffle and lay down the cards. I do appreciate that. Whoa. Can't take all of those because there's too many. Spirit, which of these cards do you want to come out for my pile number one? Which of these cards, Spirit, do you want to come out with messages for my pile number one collective? Whoa, okay. You got, you brought out the best in me and people look up to you. Wow, this is definitely somebody who looked up to you. This is somebody from your past that chances are you're not talking to this person anymore. And I really do feel too that this person and you had quite a strong connection. It was a very spiritual karmic kind of connection. This could have been a family member or like literally your sister, your um, brother, your mom, your dad, um, even a cousin. Or what I'm really getting to is that this could have been a friend that you're no longer in contact with. It doesn't seem to be uh, romantic. It seems to be more of like a platonic, but we'll see. We can see more as we go along. Um, we can roll the astro dice, but so far what I'm seeing in the cards is that this person could be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Or a Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. Because we got the King of um, Wands in reverse and the Queen of Swords. There could even be two different people. That could often be indicative of two different people. So perhaps these are family members or one is a family member, one is a friend. That kind of thing. What other signs here? We've got uh, Cancer, Taurus. Cancer again, Aries, Leo. Okay. So with the wands, that's indicative of a fire sign. So Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. And of course, that's a double confirmation for the Leo and the Aries up here. Whoever this person is, though, you really were helping this person spiritually you may have taught them everything they know about their spirituality. If you practice witchcraft or spells, maybe you 
got this person into it too, or you shared um, tricks of the trade, tips, that kind of thing. Um, you shared knowledge in some way, shape, or form with this person. And this person really looked up to you in the past, okay? And they really viewed you as somebody who was a light, somebody who was um, very helpful. You have the capacity to really help people around you. And this person does feel kind of ignored right now. This person from your past thinks you brought out the best in them. But right now, currently, they're very upside down. They're feeling very... Because this came out in reverse, this person is definitely feeling upside down. Especially this um, fire sign individual. Just very, very topsy-turvy right now. And very alone. This person feels very alone without you. Without your shining light. I'm sensing, too, that this person looked up to you so much. They held you in high regard, but they may have never really told you or expressed to you how much they really, really liked you or loved you because the Four of Pentacles can be all about um, keeping your feelings to yourself, you know, keeping in those emotions and not sharing. This person was jealous of you. I'm not going to lie because you have an abundancy all around you. It seems like um, you have everything you need. And this person struggles. They struggle um, with finances. They struggle with their career. They struggle knowing their place in the world. And they do struggle spiritually too. This person could be very prone to negativity, self-harm. This person could be very prone to dark thoughts. Um... They could even be attracted to um, black magic, um, darkness, lots of dark things. And you are somebody more of the light, I'm seeing. Um, you guys are very different. What brought you together could have been a family connection. Or what brought you together, if this was like an old friend of yours, could have been... That that person was there for you when in a time when you needed this person. And you might have thought you had a lot in common at first, or at least, you know, initially. But I feel like there were red flags along the way. This person could have lied to you, you know, presented like a fake self to you to make you like them more. Maybe they pretended to be of the light, you know, too to try to get you to share knowledge with them, you know, um, because you're very spiritual and you seem to know quite a bit about spirituality. And this person could have used that in order to learn um, tips or, tr you know, tricks of the trade and then you misused it or abused it in a way that was negative to try to like curse people or spell, put spells on people to harm people because this person... Um, doesn't really care about karma. I don't feel this person believes in karma. They, um, they're the kind of person that believes that they can do anything and there's no consequences for their actions. This person is very immature. They could be very young or just very immature. Um, but they're not honest either. They have a fakeness about them. They have a facade that they present to the world. Um, with that two, three of wands, this person wants to take some kind of action. Um, if there are two people here, one of them definitely wants to come back to you. They want to make their way back to you, into your life, back into your circle of trust. And I can't help but notice these two people holding hands as they are embracing and kind of twirling around, almost like looks like they're floating in the air. Um, or like trapeze, that kind of reminds me of like a a trapeze artist hanging upside down, catching another trapeze artist. And that kind of trust that it really takes to do that kind of line of work where you're a trapeze artist and your, um, your, your job is to catch the other person. That's a big responsibility. Also, if you are the person flying through the air, you've got to trust that other person's going to catch you. So it's about trust. And I feel like this person, um, you thought maybe you could trust this person and 
you had to find out the hard way that no, this person is not who they say they are. and You can't trust this person. You are the light and they are not of the light. That is what I'm hearing. And as scary as that may sound, um, you are protected and you are better off without this person. So if you let this person go, um, let this be a confirmation that you did the right thing because you had to, you had to protect your energy. You always have to protect your energy from people that are negative or people who will try to take your vital life force, your energy. Um, watch out for people like this because another word for these people is, um, psychic vampires. They kind of, um, they try to wait for you to light up so they can, um, steal your energy and you know what I mean? Just try to like rain on your parade. When you're happy, this person gets agitated. So this person is not <laughs> good. Um, I'm really getting like narcissistic vibes. This person could be like a somatic narcissist, somebody who puts a lot of stock into their image and their beauty. Um, and they may not even really be all that physically beautiful, but they are very shallow and that's all they can seem to think about is like their looks, you know what I mean? And they also, I'm seeing to somebody here who could use their looks as a weapon or like use their looks as a, a way to get what they want. Um, this person could just use their looks as a way to try to get favors or attention from people. Um, all right, let's see. Let's get the letter tiles and see who this person could be. And then um, we'll do spirit talk and get into that. But So spirit, who is this person? I feel like they're, yeah, they, they miss your light. That's why they miss you and they're crying over you because they miss your light. Um, it used to give them energy, but now they don't have that. So they're really, really sad. But you're feeling actually better without this person. I did just hear the name Stacy. I'm just going to say the names that I hear because I am already starting to get names. Now, I will say as a little caveat with this, I may or may not say your name. I'm just going to be channeling whatever name spirit gives me. But um, I'll be channeling through my lens. And so and I'll be channeling just whatever spirit, you know, kind of whispers into my ear and so I may or may not say your name or this person's name, but there's a chance that, you know, it is meant for you to hear your name or this person's name. But if it's not, just take what you like from the reading, you know. Also, you could see their initials in here. Um, Cause I'm gonna I'm gonna put all these letter tiles down. And then what I want you to do is look for the person who, if you're thinking of somebody who you think this might be, you can look for their um initials okay first middle last name um maybe even a screen name or a nickname of this person or you could even see your own initials or name in here let that be confirmation that this is indeed your pile but if you're watching this and you're like hey none of this is resonating you know then that could be a sign um that there's a different pile meant for you Keep that in mind, okay? All right. So I am just going to lay these out and then I'm going to be getting different hints and clues and names. Like I said, I am hearing um, Bryn right away and Brittany. Um, D, like Deanne. Or Deanna, Shelby, Courtney, Felicia, Jasmine. Jacob, Pam, Sarah, 
Sue? Laura? Heidi? Holly? Trisha? Karen? Liz? Naomi? Corinne, Cece, Eliana, Elaine, Marcus, Soleil, Sheldon, okay, I see that you and this person, like, there could have been, like, a, a fight or a big disagreement between the two of you where this person just really pushed, tried to push your boundaries, because we've got war, and that tells me that there was some kind of interruption Definitely some kind of interruption between the two of you. I'm also seeing hi. And what this tells me is that um, this person or one of these pers one of these people here, maybe there was some kind of um, alcohol addiction with this person or um something used as a some form form of escape okay some kind of addiction with this person um i'm also seeing penny so that could be a name I'm definitely seeing lie, liar, and lies. So yeah, going back to that, that person was not being authentic, was not truly being who they said they were, okay? I'm seeing, um, ooh, I'm seeing bully. This person is a bully. They just think they can push people around or get their way. Look at that. They're pushy. We've got pushy bully. Oh my goodness. Also, I see wine. This person could like to drink wine or like I said, that could be alcohol. Because I am seeing beer. Beer. Beer and wine. Um, this person could be um, interested in taking photographs or could be a photographer. This person is very showy. They're a show off. They have show off energies. They've got to one up everybody. I'm seeing fluent, um, for, for some of you out there, this person could speak, um, either like another language, like Spanish as a se uh, second language or English. I don't know, something like that, where they may speak another language very fluently. This could be French or Spanish or whatever, but I'm seeing both of those in here. So they could be bilingual. That's going to 
be for some of you, not for everyone. So, you know, with this, just take whatever you like and leave the rest. These are meant to be just clues for you. All right, so what I'm going to do at this time, I am going to kind of put this up here. And then um, I'll get the paper out for the spirit talk so we can get more clues. All right, spirit, what can you tell us about this person? And what can you tell us about why are they crying over the pile one? I just heard regret. This person has a lot of regret about their actions. Um, they regret their actions because they lost you. Okay. And they're very sorry, but they would never tell you that because this person does not apologize. Um, they do not apologize for anything. They never say they're sorry. Very, very rarely, maybe once in their lifetime, have they ever said they're sorry. They're very stubborn. But they are. They do have a lot of regret. But they have a hard time. I'm, feel, I'm hearing too, they have a hard time showing their true emotions. Um... That's part of hiding behind their mask. It's like a social mask that they wear. Spirit, what else can you tell us about this person who's crying over my pile one? Spirit says for some of you out there, this person wears glasses. And that's one of the clues that's, that you're meant to hear. Uh, and they could even look like I'm hearing, um, horn rimmed glasses. Okay. Horn rimmed glasses. And I think too, that this person I'm hearing snake. So I'm feeling like this person could either be, maybe they like snakes or they like, um, this could even be like snake jewelry. They could like, like I said before, dark stuff. Um, maybe they like or are attracted to um, just dark, dark things that, you know, like Ouija boards and stuff that would not necessarily call in good spirits. Those are dangerous. Um, a lot of uh, people um, do say how dangerous those are. Okay. So, um and that's what I believe too. You're free to believe and practice however you want to. But what I am sensing too is that this person really calls in a lot of darkness to themselves because of their bad vibes that they put out. Okay. They put out a lot of bad vibes. They put out a lot of negativity. Okay. And this is not good. This is um, attracting... Um, more unlucky circumstances to this person. This attracts things like um, bad friends, okay? This can attract like poverty or um, this can attract illnesses. This can attract mental illnesses for this person. Um, yeah, so this person could find themselves in a very in, in some very sticky situations or what they may consider to be bad luck. But I feel like this person has kind of brought it upon themselves with their, with their actions and their, their negativity. And when you were with this person, you might have seen some improvement in this person, their actions and stuff. But I feel like um, it, could, it was like fake. This person might have faked that they wanted to be better. And maybe deep down they did want to. But I feel like they're overcome with a lot of negativity. Um, they could have been raised up in some kind of abuse. That could have been neglect um, or whatever. And they didn't deal with this. Um, I feel like this person probably did not um, receive help. Okay. They did not go to therapy, counseling, or any of that. If they tried it, they probably, what I'm sensing, like quit before they were excused, you know what I mean, from therapy, or they just 
blatantly chose not to deal with their problems. Because I'm hearing like, push it under the rug, you know, and this person might have been brought up to push it under the rug. Whoever this person was, that's how they were taught to deal with their problems. So they ignore things. Anyways, that is what I'm getting from spirit as to who this person is and why they are um, crying over you. But just know that you are protected from this person. So, and like I said, like spirit wanted you to know that you made the right decision to um, get this person out of your life. Okay. Because this person, and you know this, this person was not good for you and your energy. And you're much better off surrounding yourself with um, other people that are positive and that also are attracted to the light and people that want to share in that goodness and lift you up and elevate you and the people that, you know, you feel are really worth it. So keep being you, my pile one. Keep being amazing. And you will, you know, keep attracting the right type of people to you, unto you. And I feel like you're very intuitive and you know you can internally kind of sniff it out when somebody's not being quite, you know, maybe they're not um, treating you right, you know, or they're not um, walking in the light. You know, you can sense that. You can sense danger and like, you have a you you have a way of like being able to listen to your inner compass and that inner little voice. So keep listening to your positive inner voice that keeps um it's kind of like Jiminy Cricket. It's your subconscious, but also it's your you could be hearing your spirit guides, your angels. So be listening for that positive inner voice. Thank you so much, my pile one, for being here for listening and I hope that you take something away from this and hope that it was very informative and insightful and if you enjoyed it please be sure to subscribe um, and don't forget to turn on the notifications bell so you can be um, notified as soon as I upload new videos and if you'd like a uh, personal reading I do offer those so check out my description box for more information on how you can obtain a personal reading with me. And if you'd like to join my Patreon, check out my description box below for information and a link to my Patreon where I post um, 18 plus uncensored love readings. Um, so yeah, thanks again so so much and if you would like to donate to my channel feel free to do so you can find more info on how to do that in my description box as well it's never expected but always appreciated much love to you all and take care bye hello beautiful souls who chose pile number two rose quartz or image two Today's reading is going to be all about who's crying over you and why. So before we begin, I'm going to light some sage to cleanse the area because I do a lot of tarot card readings and it's good to start with a clean slate. I'm also going to begin with a prayer to spirit so that I can connect with spirit. Spirit, please be here now with me and help me to deliver clear, concise, and accurate messages to my pile number two collective, all about the person who is crying over them. Please help me to say the words that need to be said for my pile number two and spirit, please speak through me. Thank you. All right, so pile two, I am going to be using the Astro Dice, Letter Tiles, Spirit Talk, several Oracle decks, Tarot Cards, and Channeling. So I'm basically using quite a lot of modalities in order to dive deep into this. Um, so I'm going to be rolling the Astro Dice um, to start us out. If I roll, like, let's say I roll four signs because I'm going to be rolling four signs. And let's say you don't know anybody that has those signs. Um, 
don't click off the video because there's going to be more hints and clues as we go along. So just stay tuned because you could see the person's name in the letter tiles or, they, you know, I could get more signs in the tarot. So just stay, stay with it and um, take what you like from this reading and leave the rest, you know. And if it absolutely just does not resonate, it's okay. You can always go back to the beginning and choose again. Okay. And um, yeah, if you could just, you know, take a moment to hit that subscribe button too. If you're new, I would love to uh, welcome you to my YouTube family. It really helps my channel to grow. All right. So I'm going to start us out with the Astro Dice. So let's see who um, this could be potential sun, moon, ascendant, or Venus sign of the person who's crying over you, my pile two. We've got a Pisces, Capricorn, Scorpio, Scorpio, so double Scorpio, another Scorpio, <laughs> and Aquarius. Okay. So right away, this could be a family member that you're no longer talking to. And it could be um, uh, ex-lover or um, a friend you haven't talked to in a long, long time. So let's go ahead and see. Um, I'm going to be first using the Carolyn Mace archetype cards. And I'm going to do shuffling on the camera so you can see what I'm doing here. Um, servant. All right, so we got the servant. Let's see what else we can get. We're going to try to get as much information about this person as we can. So Spirit, please help us out here. Help me to choose the correct cards that are going to give my pile number two collective the most information about who this person is and also about why they're crying over my pile two. Sacrifice. Oh, wow. Those do really kind of go hand in hand, don't they? Tensions to dream. Interesting. So, so interesting. Okay, now I think I'll use the Light Sears Tarot. See what else we can get. Oh, yeah. I also wanted to, um, before I do the Light Sears, I wanted to use the Coffee Cup Oracle because... Um, this is a really good deck. Uh, I really like it because it's, it has great illustrations and not only that, um, it has a lot of variety and you just never know what you can get. Um, this is a design by Amira Salon. Um, she's just wonderful. She sent these to me as a gift. It's called the coffee cup Oracle. I can put a link in the description box for this if you would like to check it out so spirit once again please help me to draw the correct cards that are going to give us the most helpful information about who is crying over my pile number two heart this person has a lot of love for you a lot of love all right i will say that um so this could have been a romantic connection or like familial love so we'll just have to see. Whoa, we got cards flying out. Oh my goodness. We got the Two of Pentacles. All of these came out. We've got the Eight of Pentacles. All right. We've got Six of Pentacles. Lots of Pentacles. My goodness. The Fool. The Hermit. The Ten of Swords. Ooh. Chariot in reverse. And the Eight of Cups. So for somebody walking away. And the Seven of Swords. Wow. All right. That's what's coming through. So this is... I'm, I'm definitely getting like this could have been somebody that... Um, could have been like a romantic connection that you walked away from. Or that was some kind of familial connection that had a lot of love, just a strong, strong love. So you can take it however this resonates, but in some way, shape or form, this person might have um, betrayed you. Okay. And 
I feel like you could possibly just not talk to this person as much anymore or probably not at all with this energy because this is the kind of energy where you just can't trust the person, okay? So this is something that, you know, it's just not this relationship, this connection just wasn't going anywhere. It With the chariot in reverse, that talks about really stopping in its tracks. It's like, you know, this person and you just, it was too painful. The connection was too painful. There was too many painful things in the way. You couldn't trust this person um, or they couldn't for some reason trust you at the time. I feel like this person has gained a lot of insight. I also just heard this person could have been um, like misguided by friends who gave bad advice or family members who gave bad advice to this person. Also, I was hearing brainwashed. This person could have been brainwashed at the time, but now that they've had some time to think about things in retrospect, there's so much regret here in their hearts for how they treated you in the past because this person just dreams about what it would be like to connect with you. And I feel like it, I'm hearing like it's too late. I'm hearing that song. Um, it's too late to apologize. Um, I'm not sure who sings it, but it's called It's Too Late to Apologize. Maybe I can try to look it up and see. Okay, it's by One, Repu One Republic. And it's called, um, Too Late to Apologize. And I'm hearing that song. I feel like this person feels like, you know, maybe they feel like it's too late, but they see you as somebody who you really do have, like, a servant's heart. You always are so giving. This person might have taken advantage of that, your kindness, the fact that you were always so giving, loving, sacrificing. Look at that. Sacrifice. I feel like you're a really giving person. You gave so much energy to this person. You could have even helped this person financially. You sacrificed a lot to make this person happy. You could have put your your own dreams on hold to make this person's dreams come true. You really cared about this person and you put them first for a long time, I'm hearing. Um, yeah, you you sacrificed a lot and this person knows it, but they do feel like there was too much betrayal there. They can't come back. It's too late. It's too late to apologize. They feel like if they came back to you, wow, that one just flew out. Um, yeah, they feel like walking away was the biggest mistake they ever made. Okay, you guys saw that fly out. And look at here. We got the Eight of Cups walking away. I feel like this person walked away from you. It was the literally the biggest mistake. Whoa. that You guys saw that too, right? That came flying out. It was the biggest mistake they ever made. You brought the, out the best in me. They feel like you brought out the best in them. Okay, so this person feels like an empty shell without you. That's what I'm hearing. This person feels like literally empty without you. They feel lost. You were like um, a guide to this person. You could have been like a mentor to this person. Um, karmic partner. So this could have been like somebody you knew in a previous lifetime. You definitely had a karmic connection with this person because this person came into your life to teach you a lesson and where you were teaching them lessons. And you had a beautiful love at one point in time, very strong, built on what you felt was trust. And then I feel like this person um, somehow like broke that trust with the seven of swords here, violated you. They violated you in a big, big way, and that is really very disappointing to to find out when somebody that you trust and love hurts you in a big, big way like this. It can be very upsetting, and this caused you a lot of pain. This person felt the pain too, and I feel like too, like since they've walked away, they've had so much regret and angst. I'm hearing too angst and inner turmoil that they just sometimes they just want to like literally pick up the phone and call you or text you or go to your house or wherever you are and just be like, you know, I'm sorry. I made a mistake, but they're prideful. They do. This person has a lot of pride. Um, they don't like to admit when they're wrong. 
and they also feel like maybe there's a chance you wouldn't take them back and you wouldn't forgive them because you gave them so much of your time and energy. You were so, so nice to this person. It was beyond nice. It was, you almost gave too much to this person and it wasn't energetically returned to you. You were very self-sacrificing. Um, so I feel like this person knows that. And that's one of the reasons they're crying over you now because they realize what a big heart you have, what a good person you are. And at the time they might've um, seen you as the enemy or seen you as a projection of their own shortcomings. That's what I'm hearing from spirit. This person um, was projecting their own shortcomings onto you, which was um, not fair, but sometimes that does happen in life. People do that. And I feel like now they're kind of starting to understand it. This person might have gained some insight or maturity. Um, they may have also, like I said before, they could have been brainwashed and possibly have had some space or distance from the person who had some kind of influence over their decision about this, okay? And since they've had some space from this person or some perspective about the situation, there's so much regret. And they're like, what did I do? You know what I mean? Like, what the hell did I do? What did I do? I lost a great person. They see your kind heart. That's a big, big heart right there in the center of the reading. I want to go ahead and um, proceed with the letter tiles so we can see who this person is. Let's go ahead and see if um, I can channel their name or your name. Um, so I'm going to pick these cards up. And um, I wanted to say too with the Fool, the Fool can be indicative of Aquarian energy. So I just wanted to put that out there as well. This could have been an Aquarius. But yeah, whoever this is, they let somebody get, get in their head. Um, delusional thinking, I just heard. They could have had some delusional thinking. Maybe they had some kind of mental illness that got in the way too, okay? Or some kind of mental disturbances. Um, possibly like a mood disorder or something like that. Okay. Let's go ahead and see um, what we can get with the letter tiles. Spirit, please help me to choose the correct letter tiles that will reveal this person's initials or name, first, middle, or last, or their screen name or nickname. Also, you may see your own name in here. Let that be a sign to you that this really is your pile. And um, if you don't see... Uh, your name or if I don't say it please don't click off just keep keep an open mind because um, you will receive what you're meant to receive out of this reading um, and not everybody is going to hear their name or the person on their mind that they're thinking of their name that just isn't possible especially with um, a general reading such as this but you know if you're watching and you're enjoying it then that's good. There's something here for you. But like I said, like, um, I will be channeling some names. I won't be able to channel all, a lot of names because, um, I don't want to spend too much time on the name portion of this. Okay. I'm just going to start with some names though, because I am hearing some names. So I will get started on saying some names. I'm hearing Anita. Byron, Brian, I am hearing Indiana, this person could be from Indiana, I'm also, or you could be, also um, I was hearing India, Lance, Gideon, Blythe, Angel, 
Angelica. I'm hearing Reynolds. That could be a last name. Brown. That could be a last name. Luann. Elizabeth. Nicole. Carrie or Kara. Ashton, Asher, Riley, Dennis, May, Shauna, Dan, Jordan, Melanie, Joe, Mary, Brent, Morgan, Stella, Joanne, Michael, Wendy, Haley, Olivia, Mia, James, Samuel, Sophia. Okay, so that's the names that I'm getting. Um, now I'm gonna go into the hints and clues about this person, okay? They could have brown hair, because I am seeing brown or blonde hair. This could even be more than one person. Um, I'm hearing like diabetes. Um, there could be an energy here that has diabetes. That could be you or this person. Um, because I'm hearing insulin. And I'm also seeing that in the tiles insulin. So there could be somebody with diabetes. Let that be um, a clue or a hint. Um, also I'm hearing thyroid. This could be you or this person who could suffer from a thyroid issue. Um, this person could be in sales because I am seeing sales. Could be a salesperson. Could also work in stocks and bonds because I'm hearing that um bookkeeping that kind of thing okay or even this is very specific but I'm seeing law and I'm also hearing um rural area so could live in a rural area 
or be um, something about estate sales um, and something about, um, I'm hearing something about real estate, okay? Real estate. So that could be you or this person. Let that be a hint. Um, what else? Fan. This person is a big fan of you. They're still watching you, um, checking out your social media, watching you where, whenever they can. Um, it could even be um, an RN, registered nurse, or an LPN, because I am sensing that that just means licensed practical nurse, um, or something in the medical field like an aide like a medical aid or nurse's aid. Um, borrow. This person could have borrowed a lot of money in the past or have, um, maybe they have something with bad, a history of bad credit or bankruptcy even. For some of you, that's not going to be for everybody. Um... I am seeing janitor, so this person could be a janitor, all right, because that is coming through too. All right, so you can also keep looking and see what you see, but I am seeing sorrow. This person has a lot of sorrow, all right, that they carry around, regret, sorrow. I'm going to see... I'm going to just put these aside and then I'm going to do spirit talk and see what else we can find out about this person. All right, spirit, why is this person crying over my pile too? I, I'm hearing they, they never got closure, okay? And they never got to tell you goodbye or that they, how they were really feeling. Um, they might have hid their true feelings. They hid their true feelings from you. Um, this person was very immature. Um, had some growing up to do. Um, I just heard this person could like cartoons, all right, or like to watch cartoons because it makes them laugh, cheers them up. Um, they could really suffer from, like, depression, okay, and they could even suffer from, like, anxiety, and also this person um, could like to sketch, or that could even be you that likes to sketch, like, sketch anime or sketch um, mostly people, people people's faces um but I'm really seeing this person and an association with anime for some reason but maybe this person is very artistic or that could be you um they're missing you because this person they wanted to be like you they wanted to be like you and they wanted they thought this was gonna last forever they this could have been a sudden something suddenly kind of like happened and maybe they were ripped away from you or so, something like a tower moment might have happened abruptly and there wasn't enough time because I'm hearing like there wasn't enough time and there was a misunderstanding too is what I'm really sensing okay um this is not going to be for everybody, but for some of you, this could be even like um, an adult child that um, went away, okay? And there, and this could have been some kind of misunderstanding, but that's going to be for only some of you out there. And I know we already did names, but I had to say Jamie because this name was coming through. So I had to say that for somebody out there. And they're telling me to put a little heart up here. <laughs> so maybe um, this person signs their name with a little heart. Could have an I in their name and they sign it with a little heart. Or that could be you. Um...
Okay, for some of you out there, this is just a little clue. Um, this person could have some kind of like either a learning disability or something like that because that's coming through. Like maybe they have like um, a attention deficit disorder or somebody somebody in their family might have ADHD. Okay, because that is bringing brought through being brought forward. And, um, I feel like too, like this person likes nature. Anyway, these are just hints and clues. They're not all going to apply. Something here about parents, they, they could have had a, um, a strained relationship with one or more of their parents or trust issues with their parents. Cause that's coming through. And, um, anyway, this person has a lot of sorrow and regret because they might have listened to somebody else and been swayed into walking away from you, and now they're feeling, like, really bad about it. You know, like, like I said before, like, it's too late. But, yeah, I'm seeing, like, an image in my mind of somebody wanting to pick up a phone and, and call and just maybe even just dial your number and then hang up something like that um this person could really benefit from talking to somebody about it um because i feel like this person does want to somehow reconnect with you if at all possible if you would have this person back because they may have broken your trust, okay? This person may have broken your trust or violated you in some kind of big way. And maybe you don't want this person back or you're leery or scared to take this person back, okay? Um, this person could have quite the temper. I am hearing that. They can have quite the temper or they have this like sense of being unpredictable, you know, or... Their behavior can be unpredictable or even, um, I'm hearing like erratic behavior, okay? So unpredictable, erratic behavior that you just don't know, like if you were to ever give this person another chance, what they would act like, would they be, would they be still harboring, you know, negativity for you? Would they still be harboring ill feelings? You know, did somebody put lies into their head that they're carrying around towards you? Um... But I do feel like this person wants to communicate with you and kind of clear the air and get your side of the story. Um, but it's going to be up to you if you ever want to reconcile or have this person back. And that is just totally your choice. And um, Spirit is saying that Spirit honors that, that that's your choice. Um, I just heard, also heard Rainbow Child. So I do feel like for you, my pal... To you are very psychic and just trust your intuition because you have a lot of natural intu innate intuition and you got to listen to your heart. Um, but if you know who this person is, you know who it is. Even if I didn't say their name or even if you didn't see their initials in there, like, you know if you know, right? So you know who this person is in your heart because you're very intuitive. Thanks so much for being here, my pal, too. If you enjoyed this today, please subscribe to my channel. It helps my channel to grow and also it lets me know that you appreciate and want to see more of this type of video. Please like, leave a comment. Um, also, thank you for my returning subscribers. I appreciate you being here. If you would like to have a personal reading with me, go ahead and look in my description box below for more information. Um, on how to obtain a personal reading with me. If you'd like to donate to my channel, it's never expected, but always appreciated. And you can find info in my description box for that as well. Also, um, if you enjoy 18 plus love readings, I do offer those on my Patreon. So check that out. There's a link for my Patreon in my description box and it's easy to join. And it's only $3 a month. So it's a really great way to um, support my channel and it's also a great way for you to enjoy 18 plus uncensored love readings. Um, you would have access to my full library and weekly releases on that Patreon. 
All right, so thanks again for being here, my beautiful pile number two, and many blessings to you, and until next time, take it easy and stay beautiful. Bye. Hello, my beautiful pile number three. So if you chose this fluorite crystal point or image three, you're in the right place for today's pick a card reading all about who is crying over you and why. We will be getting into details and I will be rolling the astro dice as well as using letter tiles to see if we can get this person's name, initials, or even your name could show up. I will also be using Spirit Talk, which is a form of automatic writing where I will channel spirit. Um, so it's going to be, like I said, very, very in-depth. But I will start us out by rolling the Astro Dice. What I do want to tell you is that I may roll um, the sign of somebody that you know, and I may not. So if I don't, roll the sign of somebody you know just stay tuned because there's going to be lots and lots of information coming in the form of the tarot cards and channeling that may give you clues about who this person is if it isn't automatically revealed right up front okay so definitely stay tuned and trust that you chose the right pile but if you know you get to the end of the video and it just feels like it wasn't resonating or it didn't resonate with you then I would say it's okay to go back and to choose again because there may be a different pile for you. So, all right. And I am going to start us out with a quick prayer to spirit so that I can connect with spirit. Spirit, please be here now with me. Help me to deliver clear, concise, and accurate messages to my pile number three, all about who is crying over them and why. And... Spirit, as always, please speak through me. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. All right, so I will begin by rolling the Astro Dice. This person could be a Virgo, Aquarius, Aquarius, Cancer. So since we got Aquarius twice, I will roll it again to see if we can get a different sign. Scorpio. Keep in mind that these could be um, your signs as well to let you know that you did in fact choose the right pile. Okay. Now I will start with the Carolyn Mace archetype cards. I like to shuffle on camera. That way you can see what I'm doing. So spirit, please help me to choose the right cards for collective Num pile number three about who is crying over them and why and I always always shuffle until I get a tingly sensation in my solar plexus and then I know it's time to stop shuffling so I'm feeling it here we've got a mediator all right and I'm going to draw some more cards and see um, if we can get more hints and clues. And then I'll probably read them when I have them all laid down. So I will just start by laying them down. Okay. Interesting cards so far. Now I'm going to use the Coffee Cup Oracle by Amira Celine. Ceylon, I think is her name. Um, Amira Ceylon. Dolphins. All right, now I'm going to pull some Light Sears Tarot. Spirit, please give us more information about who this is who's crying over my pile number three collective. Whoa, we got a knight of swords that wanted to come right out. All right. 
So that can be indicative of a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius person. Seven of Swords. Okay. The Seven of Swords can be indicative of a betrayal. So this could have been somebody from your past who you felt betrayed you, went behind your back, maybe spread gossip about you or rumors or just didn't have your back. Um, this person is definitely feeling the pain of that, whatever actions they did against you. They're just not telling you with the Four of Pentacles. This person is keeping their feelings to themselves and their emotions. This person could be younger than you. This person definitely sees that you are making all of your dreams come true. You are like the phoenix rising from the ashes out of a difficult situation. You know how to rise up. Um, you may have risen out of this bad situation with this person. This sounds like this was a connection that needed a lot of healing. Oh, wow. Another card just came flying out. It's the death and rebirth. Yeah, this relationship, I feel like this was a past connection that you, you know, this person, the reason why they're crying is because you're not in their life anymore. It could have been a lover, okay, so it could have been a family member or it could have even been a lover. I'm getting both of those because both are coming through for me intuitively. So take it has how it resonates with you, but... Whoever this person is, they really did you wrong in a huge way. Um, they were very immature, too, with the dolphin there. I'm just really sensing that, that they were um, somebody who had a um, an immaturity. They lacked perspective. They lacked um, insight, wisdom. This feels like it was a karmic connection. Um, you guys really came together to learn from one another. With the mediator there... This can sometimes denote that there's somebody in the middle um, that maybe uh, is kind of in between an argument or something like that. So if this is a family member, this could be this could signify that for some of you, um, you were the mediator or the go between between two family members that were fighting. That can sometimes indicate that. Um, also it could just be that you were like somebody who was a peacemaker, somebody who was respectful, somebody who was fair. And that's one of the reasons why they're crying over you now is that ever since you're gone, their life just doesn't seem fair. I am picking up on that. Whoever this person is, it's like their life has gone wrong since you left um everything is going wrong that's what i'm really really picking up on they're trying to manifest but nothing is coming into fruition with this person they feel stuck and they don't know how to tell you and they don't know how to articulate this to you with the four of pentacles they there's somebody who just keeps everything emotionally pent up if this was an ex-lover um this person is still magnetically very drawn to you and could very well be trying to meet up with you in the 5D um, astrally and trying to have like an astral connection with you. And even could be trying to have an astral conversation with you and that kind of thing. They want you to, to know that they have a lot of um, remorse and for how they felt, but yet in some ways, this person, whether this was an ex or some kind of family member, um, this person at the time when you knew them and you were very close to them, you might have felt that you could trust them, but they're the kind of person where you had to find out like this person kind of um, functions with ulterior motives. They have hidden agendas. Um, this person is not living a karmic conscientious life. They're doing things that 
are not very on the up and up. Um, with the Seven of Swords, that could talk about people going behind your back, betraying you, lying, lying behavior. I feel like this person, you couldn't trust this person, whoever this was. And they may have been very, very shady, secretive. And overall, just kind of lacking compassion for other people. They're very, this person is very selfish, okay? Not very self-aware. They focus on other people to try and what, and they try to blame other people because they can't take responsibility and they can't take accountability because they're very, very childish and immature. Even if this is like a family member who's a parent of yours, you know, this could be because I'm getting the child I was meant to be. You, you know, if this is a parent situation, um, spirit is telling me, and this is not going to be for everybody, but um, you may have been a child in a household where you had to grow up too fast and you had to um, take on a lot of responsibilities at a young age. And um, it kind of like, you know, you, because you had to grow up so fast, it kind of like, it affected you, you know. And I feel like for many of you, if this was some kind of familial thing, or even if it was a relationship that you used to be in, you got stronger as a result of like, going through almost like going through the mud of this situation like this was a difficult situation that you had to endure and you're so much stronger because you went through it it has made you tough but whoever this is they can't get it out of their mind what happened between the two of you because I do see obsession here so this means this person is thinking about you constantly they can't get you off of their mind they want another chance, whether this be in love and romance or just a personal connection. This person doesn't really have um, a lot of exciting things going on in their life. So they have, I feel like um, whenever they have downtime, they're thinking about you or looking to try to spy on you online or asking other people about you. You might have heard that this person has been asking around about you. Um, yeah, they're just trying to glean as much information as they can from anybody that you might have shared a mutual friend with, you know, with mutual friend or common, you know, acquaintances. They're just, they'll ask anybody they see how you're doing because from the looks of it, you have cut this person off and they're really, really, they are sad. They do feel like I said, like stuck, like they can't do anything. They can't, they can't do anything without you. It seemed like you gave this person a lot of hope, encouragement, and light. And I'm hearing too that this person did not deserve your time, your energy, or anything like that. So you definitely did the right thing by ending this connection and taking care of yourself. Because this person just was, like, bringing you down. And so, when that happens, that's not fair to you. And Spirit just wants to encourage you that you did the right thing moving on from this person, whoever this was that had this ulterior motive or this hidden agenda. Um, because you're a peaceful person and you don't like... Fighting, whereas I feel like with this person, what Spirit is showing me with these cards and my intuition is also telling me this, is that this person liked to fight. They liked to get upset. Um, they love that kind of feeling, like the negativity, because they, they had so much dysfunction in their hearts and in their childhood themselves growing up, I feel, that that's all they know. And... They may have tried to change their ways, but for many of them, they, they really don't want to change. They're stubborn, um, and they feel like the world owes them, owes them so much. They feel like you owe them in some ways, but um, 
I feel like this person has a lot of narcissism too. Um, they could be one of those cerebral types of narcissists or somatic. It just depends. A cerebral narcissist is someone who kind of like relies on their brain power or their intelligence to try to seem in, uh, um, superior to other people. Um, a lot of times they'll put a lot of stock into what you can do for them and how you can make them look good. Um, so a somatic narcissist is someone who is just somebody who dwells on their the way they look and they feel a real sense of self-importance. They feel like their looks is all that matters and they think that they're like the most beautiful person in the world and that you should be um, just happy to be in their presence because they've graced you with their presence. That's the kind of vibe I'm getting from this person. So they have like a very childish um, view on life. And um, I do feel like though they're very, they are sad in their hearts because, and honestly, this person was a user. Like they used to use your, you for everything you could do for them. Or like they took advantage of your kindness, I feel too. Um, and part of them is like their selfishness. They're crying because they feel like they know how truly nice you were to them. And honestly, like they can't use you anymore <laughs> because you've grown too strong for this person and you've outgrown this person. And now you are able to recognize people like this or energies like this, people that try to bring you down or disempower you. And you've grown way too strong for individuals like this. So this person is kind of like, oh crap, you know, I can't fool them anymore. I can't, um, they're not my puppet, you know, um, because I do feel like if this was a family member, they could have, um, pitted you against like a sibling or there could have been like a lot of sibling rivalry or comparing you to the other siblings or comparing you to a cousin or comparing you to everybody. Um, yeah, it's kind of a, a very sickening sort of energy, very, very negative. So you're very much better off without this person. Um, I say, let this person le learn their lesson about their actions and what they have done to you. And they, not only have they had, they hurt you in the past, but they do this with other people too. They're users. They just use people to try to benefit themselves and it's not cool. It's really not cool. All right, now what I would like to do is um, get into like the letter tiles. Oh, there was a couple other things I was gonna do. I forgot. I was gonna do, I might as well still do it. It's not too late. Um, I've got these channel message cards and I wanted to see um, if we could find out uh, I'm just going to draw two, I think, two or three of um, why this person is crying about you, okay? You're an empathic person. See, you are a person that feels thing, things on a deep level, and a lot of times a narcissistic person will take advantage of someone very empathic. That is what they do. They are destroyers. They try to prey on people that are nice or people who have codependence, or people who aren't, you know, who are not, are very, very kind. And um, I feel like, too, you are a kind person, but you've grown so strong that now you don't allow people to treat you like this anymore. But, like, for a while, you may have tolerated it, you know, and this person thought that they could get away with um, treating you like that without changing, and now part of the reason why they're crying is because they're like, oh, shoot, um... I lost this person and um, maybe I should have changed. But they, I feel like this person is not capable of change. Okay. And they are losing people left and right. That's what I'm just hearing. They're losing people out of their lives. Um, other people have also disengaged from them or left them to be by themselves. They may only have like one or two people around them. And these people are also very negative And so... They both, you know, they feed off of each other. 
They feed off from each other's negativity. That's all they have left. And they have, like, no more nar narcissistic supply. Okay. They burnt all their bridges. Yeah, you were nice to this person. You tried to understand this person when no one else would. You, you, you tried to see this person as a nice person for the longest time. And, um, yeah, they're crying now because they don't have you anymore. Okay, what else? Um, the, you could have actually, if this was, uh, could it be a mar marital engagement? You could have been engaged to this person at one time or talked about marriage. And, or this could be just that you used to interact with this person. Cause that could be engagement can be just interacting and engaging with somebody. So maybe the fact that you cut this person off, they're missing that about you. You can't be replaced. They used to love to, um, I don't know, like I'm getting like this person used to like to try to have you play their games and stuff, mind games and stuff. And they can't, like, you provided a lot of narcissistic supply for this person. Yeah, they miss your energy you brought to their life. Well, you know what, though? I, I think it's, I think you're much healthier off without this person. I really do, because narcissists are dangerous. Very dangerous. All right, so let's get into the letter tiles so that we can see who this person is. Maybe we'll see their name, maybe uh, their full name or first, middle, last, or a screen name, nickname. Um, also, you could see your name. Another thing is that you could just see the initials. I will be saying some names because I'm going to channel some names. But if I don't say the name of the person you're thinking of or your name, um, please don't just click off and think that this is not for you because there's a lot of other um, hints and clues along the way um, that, that could let you know who this person is. And so these names that I say may or may not be for you. But just take what you like and leave the rest because this is a general reading. But I will be saying, you know, some names for that spirit whispers into my ear. And then I'll get into the hints and clues of who this person is and channel some hints and clues from spirit. Sometimes I'll get a location or I'll get like a job description of what kind of job this person does for a living um, also, if you see the person's name, but everything is there except one letter, it still counts. And, um, Spirit is already whispering some names into my ear. So I'll just say the name that I'm hearing is Madison. So that could be your name or this person, the person's name. But I'm hearing like Maddie or Madison, Mariah. Sue or Susan, Andrea or Andrea, Jalen, Joyce. Jacob, Anna, Sebastian, Victoria or Vicky George Adam
Vern or Verna? Terry? Carrie? Abby or Abigail? Ava? Sophie or Sophia? Freddy? Harry? Grace? Um, okay, uh, Adira? Zoe, and I'm just going to say a couple more, Logan, Carol, and what else, Spirit? Blanche and Donna. Okay. There's also a Kathy coming through. Okay. Those are just some names. Um, now, you could see their name in here or you could see their initials spelled out. Or you could see your own name or your initials. Okay. Letting you know that this is your pile. But what can we see in here in spirit? What can you tell us about this person? I feel like if this was an ex, you couldn't trust this person and you might have thought or felt like they were unfaithful um, because they kind of acted shady and they may have given you doubt. That is what is coming through. This person is was not the most faithful of people. They they were lie, lying to you as well. I'm seeing lying, um, lying behaviors. This person could have been from a different country than you. This person could have had like high blood pressure or been very prone to stress, okay? Could have like a history of a um, some kind of heart disease or, or a history of obesity or something like that. Now that doesn't have to be for everybody, but just take that if it resonates with you. Okay, these are just hints and clues that Spirit wants you to know. I'm seeing um, mourned. This person could have um, lost somebody in childhood. Um, maybe this person went through survival's revo survivor's remorse because that's not going to be for everybody. That That's somebody very specific that Spirit is bringing through that... They could have had like, they could have lost somebody that was very important to them when they were younger, be it a father, a mother, a sibling, or a friend, and this person could have had like some kind of survivor's guilt, okay, that they never really got over or was were healed from.
For some of them, they might have had issues with their throat or even could have been um, a smoker because there is something about the throat chakra being blocked in this person. And I'm hearing bad habits. So I do feel like this person had some really bad habits. And one of their bad habits was lying. This person was a, just a pathological liar. And also I am seeing um, N V L O P. I'm not seeing a P, but that's okay. I'm hearing it. And everything is there except one letter, so I'm going to take it. Envelope. This person could have sent you some kind of email or message. They could have sent you a letter in the mail. Um, trying to get you hooked back in. This person definitely tried to hook you back in to keep you from leaving, but it didn't work. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this up here and um, make some room for the paper because I'm gonna do spirit talk next, okay? So we can get more clues about who this person is. All right, so spirit, what can you tell us about this person? Okay, I don't know why I'm hearing this. I am hearing a born again Christian. This person could have been um, Christian or could have been involved in a church. They could have been religious, okay, or like heavily religious or um, trying to, I don't know, like say they believed in the doctrine of their faith, whatever it might have been, be it Catholicism, Baptist, whatever it was, you know, could have even, it could have even been something like Mormon or something like that. But whatever their faith was, they were very heavily into like, um, evangelizing or spreading the gospel or the, the word this person but also they didn't really walk the walk they didn't they talked the talk but they didn't walk the walk is what spirit is saying um okay what else spirit what else can you tell me about this person I feel like this person was put in your life for some kind of test to like test how strong you are to test you and to to get you out of that kind of um, relationship where um, you don't tolerate that kind of BS. So like it, like knowing this person or even if you were born to a parent like this that was a narcissist that you had to cut yourself off from, this was a test, a spiritual test, and you passed it because you navigated yourself away from this toxic person and you're doing so much better now without them in your life so um pat yourself on the back for that for sure because spirit is proud of you you've done well taken care of yourself i'm hearing image this person thinks a lot about their image how others make them look and how others reflect on them so this person could also have tried to like live vicariously through you, okay? And your successes were like, they would triumph and say, and brag about you. The only reason why they would do this is because it made them feel like they had worth, okay? Worthiness. They might've tried to live through you, live your life, or they were very controlling, okay? This person had control issues. Big time control issues. And I am seeing somebody here with like, there is somebody here that kind of, that has like, um, dark features. Okay. That's what I'm seeing for some of you. This person could have dark features and kind of just like this, like dark orb, you know, dark orb or dark aura around them. And this person actually kind of has become scary looking over the years. Um, if this was an ex, maybe they weren't like this when you first met them, but by the time this relationship was over, they, their looks were changed. They looked different physically. Um, if this is a parent, it's like whoever this is, their looks, um, they have gotten so that their insides are showing on their outsides and they're not too 
pretty, you know, because they haven't been living a very good life and they've been, they've been having a lot of like bad things going on in their hearts and stuff for other people. So as a result of this, it's, it's made their physical body very unappealing um, and their insides are, are matching with their outsides now. So yeah. Um, what else, Spirit, can you tell us? For some of you, I am hearing this person could have been in the medical field or um, also could have been in, like, um, the arm army or armed forces. Or something like that. That's not going to be for everybody. Remember, these are just hints and clues. I just heard that for some of, for some of um, these these people, they, there's somebody here, one person that I'm sensing. This is going to be for probably like just a couple of you out there. There's somebody here who has way too many. Um, either cats or dogs, way too many animals. And um, it's like their house is like a zoo. Okay, they have way too many animals trying to fill a void. They have so many animals, they can't take care of them very well. And it's just a bad situation. That's what I'm, that's what I'm getting. That might not apply, like I said, to everybody. But if that if that resonates with you, then take it and let that allow that to be a hint and a clue to you to who this person is. This has been very in depth, my pile three. If you enjoyed this, please subscribe to my channel because the, subscribing allows this channel to grow and it allows me to give more readings like this. So if you did like this reading, um, please make sure to like, hit that like button, and leave me a comment too. And if you're a returning subscriber, I do appreciate you being here and thanks so much. Please do hit the like button and leave me a comment. And also, if you would like a personal reading, I do also offer those. And you can just um, check in my description box below for information on how to obtain that from me. And um, also, if you enjoy love readings that are 18 plus uncensored, Go ahead and join me over at my Patreon. The information for my Patreon is in the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon and it only costs $3 a month to join. So if you enjoy those types of readings that are 18 plus uncensored love readings, then that would be something fun for you to check out. Um, also, if you would like to donate to my channel, it's never expected, but it's always appreciated. And you can hit that super thanks button or you can just look in my description box below for other ways in which you can donate to my channel. But like I said, that's never expected, but always appreciated. I hope that you got a lot out of this reading today, my pile number three. And feel free to watch any of the other piles that you were drawn to because there may be other messages in there for you. So for my pile number three, thanks again so much. Stay beautiful and blessed. And until next time, take it easy. Bye.